Hello everyone. Uh, so test classes are very important and it is essential that you are covering 75% of your code coverage in your test classes. But is it sufficient? No, it is not sufficient. There are a couple of principles you need to follow while writing test classes and test classes are absolutely very important. And uh, so, so the principle, the first principle is that you should always create your data in your test class, be it in your factory class or be it within your class method, but always create your data in test class. Do not use the Salesforce data. You know, I, I, I agree that sometimes it looks easy and sometimes you have deployment deadlines and you need to cover everything, but understand that why it is and uh, that you should not use it because whenever you deploy something you are going to a different environment which may or may not have that kind of data and in those kind of scenarios where you do not have that sort of data available in the org your deployment will fail your product your classes will not be able to find those, those data so always create data be it in a factory the best way is to create a factory class and create all the basic objects there and whenever you need just keep on adding the object there and use that data the second very important thing is that you should always use asserts. Asserts are absolutely critical and it basically tells you that the code you have written is rock solid or not. So whenever you write something, you need to make sure that you're checking if it is working fine or not. How you do that? You use system.asserts or, or different different uh, uh, you know methods available in the asserts. So try try using them. It is absolutely important to do that. Uh, the third thing is that, see, in, in the test classes, you need to make sure that not only the 75% of code coverage, but it is also written very good. Okay, so you also need to make sure that all the scenarios which are working fine uh, are good, but you should always check for the negative scenarios as well. Things which may fail your classes or things which may go wrong, you should always check the negative scenarios as well. The fourth point is that you should always test in the bulk. So make sure that you are testing the data in bulk or creating data in bulk and testing it for the bulk scenarios as well because it is possible that it is working perfectly fine for one or two record but whenever you go in bulk it starts